You know, the topic of education, you can't have education without health, and you can't have health without mental health. It's so important to think about it in that frame. So as an education system, we know how important mental health is. And mental health, for those of us who are not experts in, in the topic, it's a confusing topic to talk about when we talk about mental illness and mental health. And if you read a lot of articles on it, sometimes they use different terms and mean different things, and it gets all confusing on exactly what they're talking about. And I think the importance of an event like this is to try to demystify the conversation so we can be starting to talk about something with meaningful dialogue. And I think that's important about the conversations and the things you're going to learn in the next tonight and tomorrow. It's about figuring it all out. Because ponder this question, you know, can you have, can I have, can I be very successful and have a mental illness? And you know that's true, I can be very successful and have a mental illness. Can I be, have mental health and have a mental illness? Can I be very well mentally health, healthy and have a mental illness? And it's a, just a thought, because there's no one, no one would doubt the fact that I could have diabetes and be a good athlete. But sometimes when we think, think about someone who has a mental illness, we, 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 we just picture this person who is weak or something different, whereas you can be a very strong mentally health person and have a mental illness. So it's an interesting conversation that when we try to have a dialogue and discussion about what it all means and what does it mean for students and stress in students' lives is huge. You're always connected. You're always online. You don't sleep enough. Uh, and, and, and you know that's a lot of what a, what a life of a teenager is. And sometimes we're stressed out. Well, lots of times we're stressed out. But that's a normal part of what we do. When you're an adult, you still get stressed out. And you try to figure out well, how do you do. Sometimes your mental health is really good, and sometimes your mental health is not so good. And that's all of a part of it. But sometimes we feel like we're the only ones going through this. So I think that the speakers that came before me have a lot more wisdom and a lot better articulating their message is saying, that's the discussion we want to have. And when you need a bit of help, reach out to someone for that help. And the other thing is, again, I go back to, when you need to stand up and help somebody, Stand up and help somebody. I bet you everyone in this room has done that. We've seen great movements. I would attest to the fact that most great things that happen in this world, not this province, not this country, but in this world, trace it back, it's the youth. The youth have such a power of wisdom. You know, when I sometimes listen to old people like myself criticize your generation, I go, they haven't met the people in this room. They have not had a conversation with the people in this room because there's no doubt my, my feeling that your generation is much wiser than the generation that I came from. And you should pat yourselves on the shoulder for all the things you do, whether it's bullying or mental health, because you do fantastic things every day. I want you to enjoy the next couple of days. I want you to go, go back to your schools, go back to your communities, do great work, and hopefully we as a school district, your schools can support you, your teachers can support you, for doing the things that you do and you continue to do. Thank you very much.